Okay, let me close with a few numbers and uh, some data points. After all, this is a data science program, so I should present some data to you. We've been running this program from January 21. It's been more than three years now. We run three terms a year and you have the flexibility to pick what courses you take in each of those terms. The orientation sessions will give you more details on that. So far in this program, 1.4 lakh plus people have applied, you know, right out of 12 passes or whatever. They've applied into the program, into one of the two entries. Uh, more than 38,000, nearly 39,000 have qualified, okay, passed through the qualifier stage. Some 32,000 started and out of that, nearly 23,000 are active today in the program. You can see the CGPA distribution. It is not that everybody is doing this very, very well. They all have 10 out of 10 CGPA. That's not true. There's a big spread of the CGPA distribution. Countrywide, uh, there are people representing every single state and union territory. Everybody is there in this program it's spread out all over the country. And uh, in, fact, in, in terms of diversity, it's quite diverse. 30 plus years is 16%, uh, women are 26%, employed is 16%. 16% of your co-students would actually be uh, working currently. And non-engineering background is 31%. It's a nice number to see. And people outside the country are 200 plus. So where are people in this program? About 15,000 plus are in foundation, 6,000 plus are in diploma level, 430 are in degree level. Many people have earned diploma. In fact, 10 people have finished all requirements for the BS uh, degree. So there are people who do really, really well uh, in all the courses and go through and finish the degree requirements as well. So diverse student community, I mentioned that. I want to emphasize a few things here. Age-wise, we are very diverse. Role-wise, we are very diverse. Uh, field of study-wise, we are really, really diverse. Income-wise, also very, very diverse. Family income levels. We have special discount and fee for people who have family income less than 5 lakh, people who have family income less than 1 lakh. And you can see nearly 35% are into the lower income groups uh, who are studying in this program. And that's something we are really, really happy about. Okay, you can see the CGPA distribution across levels. I mentioned how this program filters people as they go through the different levels. Okay, so you can see the foundation level CGPA has a much wider spread. There are people with a wide range of CGPA. And only the better students move to the diploma level. You see the diploma level CGPA is already shifted to the right. More people have, you know, 8 CGPA and better. When you go to the BSc level, you can see only people with higher CGPAs are there. And when you go to the BS level, you don't have anyone below 7 CGPA. So only the better students come through the program. And as you get into the better and better, deeper and deeper levels in the program, uh, you have better CGs as well. So that shows that this funnel and the filtering is really working. And the really good students are getting out with the degree.